Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a snippet, not a full tutorial. Here I have a pre plug pre tapered hair, sectioning it into two pieces. One side, which is the one on my right, is a little bit thicker than the one on my left. I'm smoothing it out and then I'm looping it over each other. Smoothing it out making sure all the frizz is eliminated. Then I put it aside. Then I proceed to section my client's hair. Sectioning the client's hair all depends on what size braid you want to create or you're going to be creating. So you do the estimate. Making sure all the hair is out of the way. I pinned it out of the way. There you see I am smoothing the hair out again and the section on my right it has two pieces. That's the thicker one and the one on my left is the lesser piece and I combine the one on my left into one section. Now I have a total of three sections. I place it over my client's hair and start braiding. Making sure your braid is consistent. All three pieces are supposed to have the same thickness. And while I'm braiding I keep smoothing the hair out. And if you feel that one side has too much hair you take out a little piece and add it to the next side just to keep that consistency. That is how you have that smooth, even braid. Consistency is the key. And I proceed to braid. There again, I took out a little piece because I felt that one, that side was a little bit thicker than the other two sides. And I keep braiding. I keep braiding all the way down until I felt that the braid is not as thick as when I just was when I first started, meaning it's getting thinner. So I place the extra piece or the colored piece that I'm going to be adding under the middle piece. So I place it under the middle piece to combine everything and then I start braiding. Start braiding smoothing the hair out as I go along. Keep braiding. As I said, consistency is the key, so make sure all three pieces, here I do it again, I took out a little bit from that side because I think it was too big. And I keep braiding. Yep, consistency is the key because you want to have that smooth braid even braid I keep braiding all the way down smoothing the hair out as you go along to eliminate bumps and to eliminate frizz so as you see I have an extra piece of hair hanging at the bottom that is not needed so I'm gonna take my razor comb and take off the extra piece that I don't need the reason why I use the razor comb is because it keeps the hair looking natural or tapered at the end I do not use the scissors because the scissors will give it a blunt look you need to have that natural tapered look at the end and it's better for uh, sealing, sealing the braid so it doesn't unravel and as I said it still give it that natural look instead of burning the end like some people do in this day and age I don't know why I'm still seeing people burning the end of the braid with that blunt look you need to have that natural look at the end of the hair. There you have it. 
it's all complete then you can dip all the hair when you finish this stuff dip it in hot water to seal it thank you for watching